My name is Keith Barker, and on behalf of the entire CBT Nuggets family, welcome to SITCS. Let's begin. I want to keep this introduction really brief so you and I can get right into the meat of this course. A couple of tips. Number one, when possible, I'd love you to do hands-on practice. Now, that is a little bit tricky with the email security appliance and the web security appliance as evaluation license have to be got directly from Cisco, usually through a representative from Cisco, like an account rep. So if you have access to evaluation licenses or a non-production email security appliance or web security appliance, I would encourage you to practice everything that we're going to go through and enjoy together in this course. Secondly, I'd ask you to make time to make sure you have time to go through each and every one of the videos. Now, let me give you a little insight regarding what we included in these nuggets. There are so many options out there regarding intrusion prevention systems and ways of implementing it and email security appliances, web security appliances, firewalls, modules that go into firewalls. Our objective in this course is to help give you a quicker ramp up into the world of security in a Cisco environment. So as we have nuggets on the ESA, the email security appliance and the web security appliance and the ASA and modules that may go into that ASA, I would encourage you to take it further. If it piques your interest, look into those topics further, use the online documentation and so forth to really become comfortable with those technologies. I also want to give you a heads up regarding some of the technologies that are in this course, the SITCS course. And the heads up is that some of the technologies are a little teeny bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Legacy. For example, legacy intrusion prevention systems, which are still part of the curriculum and still part of the certification. That's why I included them here. And some legacy options regarding modules that go into the ASA. And again, I've included those as part of this course because they are part of the certification currently for the CCNP security as of this recording. So if there ever comes a time in this course where you're wondering, I wonder why Keith is including that, the reason would be is because it's important for your certification if that's one of your goals. In addition, I want to share with you the real world functionality of where these products fit in and how they might be used as an umbrella to provide the best level of security that we can for our networked environments. Another resource that I would encourage you to use is our Nugget Lab files. They can be downloaded from cbtnuggets.com. You log in, go to this course, and over to the right, there's a link for the Nugget Lab files. And I would encourage you to download those and use those as additional resources. And I'll refer to many of the documents in the Nugget Lab files as we go through specific nuggets. And I would encourage you to take a look at every single document that's included in the Nugget Lab files as an additional resource to help you master and learn the concepts that Cisco wants you to be aware of as a CCNP security certified individual. So again, I wanted to keep this intro nugget really, really short so we can get into the meat of the content. And that starts, my friend, in the very next nugget. So I look forward to seeing you there. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.